Okay, today I am going to be confirming the electron location. In a previous video, I stated that I wasn't sure if I'd found it, and it said electron location revealed, question mark. But everything pointed to it. Today, I can offer observational evidence uh, that what I say about the electron spinning outside its shell to provide, uh, as after being provided with directions from the DNA, I said that the electron will spin outside of its shell to uh, form a, uh, a node for more growth, as in branch or fingers. And I said it will do it at 137.5 degrees, which is the Fibonacci sequence, um, if you go in a circle. Um, but because it's rotating in the X and Y directions, um, you get the sequence of 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on and so on. So today, I'm going to show how pretty much the whole universe runs on the Fibonacci sequence based on the humble dandelion. God said that there was so much in front of us, in front of our own eyes, that there could be no denying a God. And here's an example. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to be showing how the dandelion can be, can be compared exactly to the sun and to the earth quite easily. Okay, first, to confirm that the Fibonacci sequence is the electron spin. Well, right now in front of you have a dandelion, and in the round circle in the middle, that's voltage one, and the outer boundary is voltage two, which is the premise of all my videos. Each positioning white dot that you can see on the outside boundary, that is where the electron span out of the inner core to provide a DNA code spot of growth to produce the outer fluffies. How do I know this? Because no matter how many deniers there are of the Fibonacci sequence, this now proves that the Fibonacci sequence makes a ball shape and it is mathematically driven by the Fibonacci sequence. And to prove it, here's the Fibonacci sequence. And so this is the head of a bald dandelion. And as we can see, it is the Fibonacci sequence. And when a straight area comes out to a point, we again see this. And so the Fibonacci sequence creates a ball. And that's exactly what the electron does. It makes an electron ball and an electron shell. So we can deny that the Fibonacci sequence uh, drives plants, even though that's what it shows. We can deny that an electron spins in a ball and throws its electron outside the electron shell every 137.5 degrees, but this dandelion shows different. Now, moving on to the sun. I believe that the sun is driven in the same way and that it has an inner core. And now I want you to think about a magnet and its lines of magnetism. Now, if this were the sun, it would have a uh, solid core um, all the way to the outside if it's driven electrically. Um, the galactic circuit that runs through the center of the sun causes electricity to flow through the insides and then burst out on its surface in spicules, just like this dandelion. So let's see if we can find some pictures of the sun with spicules because this is how energy moves and this is what it looks like. So going from the dandelion, let's go to the sun and see if we can find some spicules on its surface. And so on the sun, what do we find? So without even knowing what's on the sun, I've discovered what's on the sun, even though everybody else knows it is, but I'm telling it because this is how energy travels and the humble dandelion is proving that energy is fractal and it doesn't matter what size it is, voltage moves from voltage one to voltage two and so does energy. Now coming to the earth, they have the same kind of thing, but there isn't the same amount of energy running through the earth as there is in the sun. But every time energy is sent from the sun, we get to see these spicules in the upper atmosphere and they are known as sprites. So these pathways still exist, then they're just not energized enough for us to see them. But again, the humble dandelion showing what the outer surface of the sun and the earth looks like. The spicules on earth, which are, let's say, actually on the ground, as in, all, in one of my other videos about plant life, 
these spicules are what push plants, grass, food, whatever you want to call it, all organic life gets pushed upwards by these spicules of energy coming out of the ground. And that's why you have grass and trees, because they grow upwards. So there we have the dandelion showing the Fibonacci sequence, showing that it is where the electron spin comes out because it does make a ball shape, which then shows that plant life has spicules on the outside of it, the sun has spicules on the outside of it, they have an inner core and an outer boundary, voltage 1 to voltage 2, the earth has spicules in the upper atmosphere called sprites, it has spicules on the ground which you cannot see because they're not energized enough, um, and this is all the plant life that has grown around this energy. And uh, I don't know what more I can say really. This is just from investigating one or two things. I could sit and go and look at pretty much every piece of plant life and everything is grown the same way, which shows construction. I talk about the Big Bang and how the matter in the universe was here first and you had to introduce an energy signal, which is how all matter reacts. It expands with energy. So if this matter was here, as God says in the Bible, he constructed everything beforehand. And as you can see, my videos are showing that all life is constructed the same way. Voltage 1 to voltage 2, and for any of you that can understand it, the Fibonacci sequence is, and all life is, one side squared, throw out DNA, reflection, turn clockwise. I know that seems pretty simple and hard to understand, but that's what the Fibonacci sequence does. It squares itself, squares one side, one plus one. Then it turns clockwise and it squares that side, which is two, which becomes two squared. And then three squared, then five squared, and so on and so on. It's a squared number thing. So the whole universe runs on voltage one to voltage two, and one side squared turned clockwise throw out a reflection. And finally, um, this is just a plant out of my garden. And as you can see, it's quite the atomic shape, which again shows that energy is fractal and God uses the exact same procedure and construction for everything. There is no getting away from it. Now that we know all about atoms and electrons and all this, everything can be explained. And that's what I'm doing. So. Here you go, you can look at nature and you will find everything that is at atomic level is at this level and everything that is at this level is at galactic level. And I'm sure if we could go to universe size we would see it's again the same. A fractal image of everything. God's work is amazing, but it's very simple. So one last time, the universe is voltage 1 to voltage 2 and one side squared, turn clockwise, throw out reflection. And just to finish, here's a couple of examples of the Fibonacci sequence. And yeah, I meant to mention this earlier too. Your fingerprint is the electron path. That is your outer boundary area. Your fingerprint is the electron path in your body. My name is Lee, and I'm an engineer.